stay hydrated, my friends. Hey y'all, how's it going? It's a great day to be alive, am I right? If you are currently in a season of your life where you feel lost or invisible or unloved or worthless, I want to let you know that all of those statements, all of those toxic thoughts in your mind are the enemy because you are amazing and you're loved more than you could ever imagine. I want to share with you a verse that has really sat with me recently. It's Ephesians 1 4. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. He chose us. I don't know. Those words encourage me so much. You could take that a step further. He chose us, but more importantly, he chose you. He chose you before the creation of the world. You hear that? You are a masterpiece in the eyes of God. He knows every single wrinkle, every hair on your body, and he has placed it there for a reason, because you are his beloved child. And I went through a phase very recently of my life where I felt very lost and confused and just kind of tired of trying, you know? And I wanna to speak to the person who is currently in that season of their life where they really don't know what to do next. I wanna let you know that this season of your life is so important. You're gonna learn so much about yourself. You're gonna grow and you're gonna become the person that God has intended you to be in this trial that you're facing right now. You are more than capable of handling any task that's in your way because God doesn't give you anything that you don't have the strength to overcome. And you are just so loved and worthy and amazing in every way possible. And I really want you to know that. Be thankful for this present moment and just be glad and rejoice for this life that you're living, even if it's not where you wanna be. Be happy with this moment that you're in right now because you're not gonna be able to achieve your highest goals without going through what you're facing right now. And even though you may be feeling lost and confused and hopeless, you're going through this for a reason. You're here for a reason. You are chosen. You were created by the most high, perfect God. And I think that's really exciting. If you're feeling unloved, don't go to the world and seek validation. The world is not going to give you the affection and the attention that you, you long to have in your soul. The only person that can fulfill that satisfaction and that validation is God. He is the only thing in this world that will give you a lifetime supply of love. God is love and he created you through love. We were put on this earth to love God and to love each other. I recently made a post on my blog talking about this verse and um, I really encourage you to check it out, I'll have it linked down below. Your feelings are valid and you may be hurting right now and you may be going through some trials and some tough times and you can be upset and you can hurt, but you can't stay in that dark place. You know, you, you can't live in that dark hole forever. You need to realize you're hurting and then go to the person that can take away that pain and that can get you through this season of your life because it will end and the next phase of your life is so much brighter than what you're going through right now. But I really hope that you're leaving this video better than you came into it and I want to motivate you and encourage you to go read the word of God for yourself. We're in a really difficult time for everyone. You know, the world is has been flipped upside down. And I think that brings up a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry in most of us. And I just wanna let you know that it's going to end. This dark time 
will soon see light. Just stay positive, stay hopeful, stay faithful, and you will leave stronger than you came in. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And um, I love all of you. I hope you have an amazing day. And I wanna tell you to be kind, have courage, and love each other. Bye guys.